I'd like to share with you a few quotes from my father's last book. This is a book that he dictated just a few weeks before he passed away, and it is a message for the next generation. The book is called No Room for Small Dreams, Courage, Imagination, and the making of modern Hebrew. In the epilogue, he says the following. In the span of my lifetime, I've seen the extraordinary. During my childhood, I rode in a horse-drawn carriages in Vishniva. During my presidency, I witnessed the birth of a self driving car. My father was born in Vishniva and at the age of 11 he left behind his family and went to Israel to Palestine at the time with his mother, father and brother. His grandfather, whom my father cherished and after whom I named, looked at him and said one sentence Promise me, my boy, to always remain a Jew, to always remember Jewish legacy. And as a matter of fact, it seems to me that Limud is a perfect example of how we keep Jewish tradition go on. My father says, I've seen the Jewish people fight for a thin line of desert, then transform it into a country that surpassed our grand dreams. And as a matter of fact, imagine that Israel would one day be the startup nation was something he couldn't even dream of. While he was president, he had a lot of snachas. And the snachas came from visiting one after the other, the Israeli companies who managed to come up with ideas that were innovative, who decided to fight for them, not to give up, and actually made a change in this world. My father says, in the Middle East, there are nearly 130 million boys and girls with smartphones. They may not know, and they may not be able to break from their government, but with new access to new knowledge, they can break free from the old ideology. We may soon out find that peace is made possible not through negotiation, but through innovation. Since this meeting is dedicated to innovation, I put up a little slideshow for you so that you can see how he's visiting innovation after innovation sites in Israel and the kind of nachas that he's drawing from it. And it's up to you to provide the next examples for fruitful Jewish innovation. Guys, pick up the message and start working. Shabbatov. Thank you so much.